Chase the gray, pave the way, chase the rain, release the pain, lease you sane, getting paid, trend set it, brighter day, dope a rap, tight and set it, high and deadly, I'm a fighter jet, Jeremy K. He got it's now. good. So, I want to talk some Sister Abigail real quick, and then we'll finish with some solo on the next one, because that's real quick, too. Sister Abigail, I want Bray Wyatt back. Word on the streets is he might be going to uh, Freddie Prince Jr. or something or another. You know, I don't know what the hell the guy's got going for him, but word on the streets is that Vince, uh, Vince man, shit, Triple H really wants Bray Wyatt back. He wants The Fiend. He wants, you know, obviously, listen, if The Fiend comes back, it's one of the biggest comebacks in WWE history because of what he meant. And financially, what the market for The Fiend and Bray Wyatt was like awesome next level shit from everything from that little weird house he was in with Alexa Bliss to the Wyatt family and the lights in the, you know, in the arena and everybody going nuts. His marketability is crazy. And like you were saying on the previous show, um, now if you bring Sister Abigail back in because, you know, what's his name is back? Braun Strowman. You sit back and you go, oh, shit, the Wyatt family looks official. And now Sister Abigail is finally here. Sister Abigail being Alexa Bliss will be absolutely phenomenal. And I think it will put WWE into a whole different WWE Universe, per se. Talk to me real quick about Sister Sister Abigail. Well, you know, to me, it is amazing that Freddie Prince Jr. got money like that to try oh, and, he, and oh, take. He's a big-time actor. Yeah, I know, but, you know, like he's, he's never been in, the, in a, you know, some kind of company like that before. You know, I know he used to write for WWE, but to be into something behind, you know, behind the scenes, that's a whole different type of beast. I'm pretty sure he, you know, like you said, he might have some pool, have some kind of television, something somewhere, or you know, use YouTube. But I mean, for fighting for Bray Wyatt, that that's 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 huge. That you could go head ahead with the uh, the money from WWE. But if Bray Wyatt does come back, you definitely gotta have Alicia Blix, Alexa Blix. God, can you pronounce that didn't work? Alexa Bliss. <laughs> be Abigail and go back. I can say Blix, Bliss, go back to where she became hotter after she became stale with yep. Sister Abigail. Dude, this will take it to the next step of wherever they left off before um, Bray Wyatt was let go. So um, it'll bring fans back to, especially around yeah. now, Halloween. I would bring them around Halloween. I would make a pay per view just yeah. for them. Yeah, so, so you're night. saying you're saying that uh, ho oh nice Halloween night. Uh, remember the old. I wonder if Halloween they Havoc. Ho Halloween Havoc. You knew where I was going. Yeah, I remember Halloween Havoc. Man, those were that was some that was some good stuff. I mean, that was uh, fun. Of course, it was nineties. And bring back I feel like a butcher too. So <laughs> I, I don't know. Every time I see uh, Alexa Bliss, aka Sister Christian, I mean Sister Abigail. Uh, I just think of Kelly Ripa for some reason. <laughs> what? <laughs> Amy's done. Amy's done. I can't. I can't do this with him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean, you know the the Firefly Funhouse thing. Um, you know, I I sort of saw a little bit of that and what you know the the Wyatts were doing. Uh, the fiend character that came out, I, I, I liked it, but I, I can't say that I would, um, I would build a whole wrestling company around Bray and, and Alexa. And then taking, taking Alexa away from WWE uh, and, and then who owns the rights to that character, you know, is, is Triple H going to say, nope, we, that character's ours. Or H is going to say, nope, that's yeah, ours. That's ours, right? And and then, I mean, I don't understand what Freddie Prince is. It, it's to tell you the truth, it sounds like AEW Jr. The yeah. guy with a little bit of money trying to throw it around and say, my guys are going to be paid actors. Okay, so are they going to be actors? They're going to be wrestlers. 
Um, and that's what he said. That's what he said. He's, you know, that they're going to be part of like the, you know, the union, the actors guild or whatever it is. So that, you know, but are they actors or are they wrestlers? Um, you know, whatever. <laughs> All right. So obviously you're not a fan of Freddie Prinze Jr. And his, his whole idea of what's going forward. Um, I'm a big Bray Wyatt guy. I love the Wyatt family. I love Alexa Bliss, one of my favorite female wrestlers. I think she should be super dope with Sister Abigail. I agree with uh, Muffins Martinez on this from last week. I want some Sister Abigail ASAP. Uh, this is the fr fastest one we've done so far. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out of here. Deuces. <laughs> They said gray paved the way, chase the rain, release the pain, least you sane, getting pain, trend setting, brighter day, dope, a rap tight, it's set, high in Delhi, I'm a fighter jet, Jeremy.